Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is up with you, Capricorns? Cappies, Cappies, Cappies. Oh, look at that. Cold lands. Learn how to keep yourself warm. Abandonment, challenges, and aloofness. Ooh. Oh, Capricorn, I think you've been in that vibe for a while. That's actually what's made you feel good. <sighs> well, you got the Aurora Borealis up there. Capricorn, if you haven't watched your favorite astrologer, see what your astrology is doing. Those of you, if you have a lot of water placement, right? Yeah, look at that. Six of Pentacles, four cups. Someone is definitely feeling left out in the cold around you, uh, Capricorn. If you're not the one, well, I mean, you might be feeling out there in the cold, but well, the cold's sort of good for you, right? Any of you that like the Wim Hof method? Someone's definitely feeling left out in the cold with you. But why is that? Oh, you got the lover's energy here. I don't know, Capricorn. I think some of you are better off staying single for a while. It creates a little bit more excitement around you when you're single. So when you start to date, uh, it's probably when the drama wants to show up around you. Page of Wands. Yeah, I think you kind of figured that out, Capricorn. Damn, Cappies, look at you. Smart as a tack. Hmm. Okay, Cappies. <laughs> Five of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Will of Fortune, and the Ace of Pentacles. My, oh my, Capricorn. Those of you Capricorns that's going through something that might be a little more spiritual for you, or have you looking at things differently, especially uh, romantic relationships or partnerships, this is really going to be very interesting for you. This is going to be very interesting for you. You definitely have opportunities coming your way. The heartbroken ones are those that are missing out on these opportunities with you. So, damn. You probably had to deal with a lot of codependency, Capricorns. I think you still fucking do. But damn. Damn. I do feel like there could be a little bit of a religious sort of element to this too, Capricorn. Uh, take what yours and leave what the fuck isn't, Capricorn, right? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're definitely being stingy. There's the Libra energy. That's that balance energy. Judgment energy there and the Eight of Cups. Oh. Yes, uh, Capricorn, some of you are just dealing with people who are just all about money. So you probably got a lot of crooks around you. So do be mindful. Work love life energy with this Capricorn. It's a fertile energy. So be mindful of your family planning. That's for sure. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of love energy around you. But uh, damn. So some of you are probably better off staying single for a while. You probably get a lot more uh, passionate advances Capricorn. People wanting to come on really sort of strong. Right? Damn. Sit your ass down, Capricorn. Just sit your ass down. Page of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. With the Nine of Cups. With Two of Pentacles. There's the Star Card energy. Yeah, damn. Once you pull focus back on yourself. Damn. Definitely be mindful of relationships or partnerships. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Do not mix your finances with your romantic life either. There's that Five of Cups. So I feel like you've drawn some boundaries. Some pretty healthy boundaries here, Capricorn. So, if you were a little... <sighs> What's the word? You had to learn to compartmentalize. So, Capricorn, right? Damn. Damn. I don't feel like there's a lot of love energy around you. Uh, Capricorn, for some of you, someone could be wanting to come in just to break your heart. I don't know what kind of people you deal with, Capricorn, right? 
I think you know the vibe here. But damn. Damn cappies. You fucking staying single makes all the difference, cappies. So, take what's yours and leave what the fuck isn't. Yeah, because it all leads to this fucking pentacle energy. Damn Capricorn. Capricorn, you know your vibe. So, for fuck's sake, definitely don't mix your personal life and your business life. Don't mix your business life and your romantic life. It's a fertile energy around you. Those of you, the opportunities are around you, so the opportunists come out. So, damn. High Priestess, Four of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you that's new to tarot or looking at tarot differently are kind of understanding that. There could definitely be a switch up in your astrology. Oh. So. You're probably getting a lot of sort of mixed views when it comes to uh, your tarot readings or when it comes to romantic relationships or partnerships. Um, some of you Capricorns, your cross watchers are sort of seeing, they're seeing this sort of romantic energy around you, but that's really just you focusing on you. Hot damn, who you date? Damn Capricorn. Take what's yours and leave what's not. So if you're dating Capricorn, you're happy dating, you're happy dating. Uh, those of you that are choosing to stay single and you're seeing this sort of abundance energy around you, you're realizing that. Some of you, it's, it's kind of like just uh, stuck karmic energy around you. But I don't feel like it's yours because you've sort of focused on yourself. Some of you are just all about the money. So some of you are just dealing with crooks. So whatever you got going on, especially those of you, your business life, right? Don't mix your business, love, and work life, Capricorn. I think you had to learn that the hard way, Cappies, to be quite honest with you. That's what's made the difference. So you've switched it up. I feel like you're like the ideas person, Capricorn. You're the one that makes it work. And without you... Everyone else sort of uh, uh, doesn't quite have that same sort of appeal. So you could have been the one that creates the ideas, that sort of is the creator. You're the, the top salesperson. You're the one that gets it done. Uh, and without your energy around, that just completely changes. Capricorn, those of you, if you were a good date, if you bought a lot of nice expensive things, right? The fact that you're not has sort of created a, a change up with you. <sighs> Capricorn, you know the energies you deal with. So take what's yours and leave what's not. A lot of you, this is just your happy single. How many of you, the last time you were actually happy single? If you're dating, you're happy dating. Uh, I don't think there's anything overly passionate. Some of you could have, uh, the religious element to this, some of you could have taken a little vow of celibacy. So you're not getting uh, involved with anyone physically. That's not what you're interested in. You'll date, you'll date, but uh, that's about it. Damn. Take what's yours and leave what's not, Capricorn. The Five of Cups has the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone is so concerned about your relationships or partnerships, and you're just single as fuck. Damn Capricorn. So, I don't know. Be mindful of the sort of overly needy, the overly passionate, the overly sort of, um, I don't feel like romance would even work with you because that right there would be a major turnoff. Uh, that just overly passionate. You know you Capricorns. Especially if you sort of switched up how you do things, how you date, how you look at relationships or partnerships. I do feel work, love, life energy with you, Capricorn. So some of you, you need to compartmentalize. Like, seriously, compartmentalize. Especially if you're this sort of, uh, uh, you got this sort of business uh, savvy about you. 
Damn cappies. I love your readings because they're basically really good life energies here. Life lessons. Common sense for most of you. But you had to learn it the hard way. So, I'm not mixing your personal life, your business life, your love life, your business life. Those of you that's happily single. This is like happily single energy. Even if you're dating, you're slowly dating. You're getting out there. Some of you are waiting till you get to know somebody in the biblical sense. That creates more of a stir. But if you started dating, if you got into a relationship or partnership, that's probably when a lot of just drama would start up. You know what I mean? Just way too much drama. So, Dan Capricorn, if you were like the player energy before and now you're just happily single, you're not doing anything but focusing on yourself, that sort of changed everything up with you. You go from the cold lands here to this I am a galactic star seed blooming. 17 energy, which is like the desert energy. This is the Aquarius energy. Right? Antarctica is a desert. So, damn. I don't really feel like you're all that focused... Uh, on anything or anyone other than yourself. Not in the negative sense of the word, but I feel like you're sort of out of your feelings. You're out of that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. So whatever manipulation was there, Cappies, you realized. I don't feel like you had a lot of love around you. You had a lot of opportunists. So, damn. Damn. Damn cappies. I definitely feel like you've taken a vow of celibacy. Some of you, you're not uh, you're not doing what you used to do. You're not going from one relationship into another. And that has really made the difference. So Capricorn, you know your vibes. Maybe for work. This doesn't have to be romantic. Those of you that can give two fucks about uh, your love life, right? This could even be when it comes to your business sort of energy, right? Some of you choosing to kind of go do your own thing. This is like you make a choice, you do something, and it starts going good for you. You get another job, you sort of switch it up, and then bam. Someone definitely misses you, but what is it that they actually miss about you? It's more that, it's always more that pentacle energy with you. So, damn Capricorn, right? Especially if you're really good at what you do. And when your energy and vibe isn't there, Capricorn, it changes everything up. There is a lot of codependency on you. Maybe you didn't realize how much, Capricorn. Damn Cappies. Keep doing you. Keep focusing on you. You know if it feels right, Cappies. Uh, you're in that Aquarius energy. You pulled double Aquarius. So if you haven't checked with your favorite astrologer, Aquari uh, Capricorn, uh, your Aquarius placement or this Aquarius coming in could have made a big difference with you. You're happy. You're happy, Capricorn. Whatever you got going on, you're happy. A lot of you happy being single. Some of you happy dating. Some of you learning to just date and just make it a date, right? I don't feel like you're wanting to get into a relationship or partnership really quick. You're definitely going to take your time. Some of you could have took a little vow of celibacy. There's like a ten of swords. Yeah. Damn, you staying single. Seven of pentacles, the three of cups, the magician energy, and there's the sun card. You're learning how to manifest in a positive vibe. So, damn, Capricorn. I never feel like it's a lack of options with you, Capricorn. The thing is, you just had some shitty options, right? Or you made some shitty choices. Uh, some of you, don't mix your business life and your personal life, right? Make sure you keep that separation. You're in good vibes energy. So you're looking at relationships and partnerships from a whole different perspective. The way you're viewing things. Who gets your time, energy, and attention with the Seven of Pentacles? But the opposite with you is kind of everyone waiting to see because you're like the sort of money tree vibes. <laughs> There's that balance coming in for you. 
Your Libra place placement could be important with you. Over oh, well, that's the Seven of Wands. Healthy boundaries. Some of you definitely healthy boundaries when it comes to your work, love, personal life. I don't think you're going to intertwine those Capricorn. Some of you are going to date people that have nothing to do with the industry that you're in. Uh, you're going to find people that could give two fucks what it is you do. You're really weeding out the opportunist on your own. Model, artist, curator. A lot of you Capricorns are sort of combining all that into yourself. I feel like you're just getting rid of all the externals that you don't need. But while you're sort of uh, streamlining everything in you, around you, it sort of uh, creates that sort of vibe. So, damn, right? You're the model, artist, curator. You kind of just do it all. Capricorns, for a lot of you, I don't feel like you need that sort of ass-kissing vibe around you. You've switched it up to the point where you don't need that. The validation. So, you got burned with something, and now you're learning and growing. This could be your romantic life, some of you your business life, those of you that intertwined your business and your love life. Yeah, you're not doing that anymore. VR Beach. Experience life through a new set of eyes. Perspective, self-awareness, and new experiences. Some of you just happily being single. This is like learning to sort of do your own thing. This is like learning to have your own space. This is... Uh, you're just sort of doing you. Whatever the fuck that is for you, right? Um business-wise, if you're sort of doing your own thing, you're doing your own thing. You were in parameters that sort of kept you stuck, but it was very comfortable for other people. But you definitely felt limited. So, you've expanded yourself. You've grown. You've learned to sort of respect yourself. Some of you definitely have healthier boundaries. Uh, I don't think you're going to mix your personal life and your business life. Some of you are going to date people that don't even know what the fuck it is that you do. So that way there's none, none of that sort of bleed through energy with you. I think you had too much of that. If this isn't romantic with you, with, honestly, Capricorn, I don't know. Was it ever really romantic? You always have had opportunists around you. But damn, it's a fertile energy too. So, you know, be mindful of your family planning. Damn. Capricorns, those of you happy being single. Creates more of a stir. King of Swords there with the Gemini energy, the lover's energy. Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Chariot energy. The Virgo energy and the Fool card. Definitely trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. There's a lot of this sort of disruptive vibe because you're not sort of in there. <laughs> Damn Capricorn. So you're a good opportunity and you're definitely being missed. But I feel like that's a good thing for you. Capricorn, <laughs> and that's actually a good thing for you. You'll know when you're ready to date again. You'll look at things differently. I definitely think you're going to look at your romantic relationships or partnerships differently. Those of you, if you're coming from uh, a major sort of change up in your life, you're looking at things differently. I definitely don't think you're going to mix business and pleasure anymore. So... Your next partner might not even know what the fuck it is you do because you're not going to go down that road again. If it's not romantic, this could be your work vibes, right? Damn. When your energy isn't there, Capricorn, it creates a lot of this because you're making smarter choices, especially those of you when it comes to uh your friendships your romantic relationships or partnerships some of you just uh cutting out the middleman oh shit because <laughs> like god bless damn cappies take what yours leave what the fuck isn't capricorn 
you know you. You've made the changes or you haven't. This is your energy or it's not. 15. Fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. Yeah, you kind of avoid that. This is the Capricorn card. I feel like that's that sort of Seven of Cups vibes around you. And here you are just sort of out doing your own thing. Especially my creatives. Especially those of you with what you do for work. Getting that sort of new opportunity. Switching it up. Some of you working more by yourself. Uh, learning to do more things by yourself. So you could have took some classes. You could have just uh, took some time off. You're looking at things differently. You're not feeling as confined. Especially those of you that might have felt like a, a hamster in the hamster wheel. You kept the energy going. It was all sort of based on you. So if you were the best salesperson, you were the, the one that sort of got everything done. You were the creative person, right? Man, once you sort of started focusing on yourself and established some healthy boundaries, that just changed everything up. Some of you definitely not uh, mixing your personal life and your business life, your friendships and your business life. That made all the difference with you. Damn. Could you be in a relationship or partnership? Those of you that's overly concerned about that, there's relationships or partnerships out there. If you want to be dating somebody, you could be dating somebody. But... You know the sort of vibe around you. Who wants you for you and who just wants you for the accoutrements? Especially if you're a good date. Especially if you're a good date, Capricorn. So, the choices you make are going to be what's healthier for you. But you're definitely looking at relationships or partnerships differently. Some of you are not going to date anybody that does the same sort of work that you do. Some of you are going to find people that don't even know what the fuck it is you do. So, you know, if you're in computer programming, you don't want anybody that knows anything about that. So that way, there's that sort of separation. Damn, Cappies. Take what's yours, leave what the fuck is in Capricorn. This is a good vibe. Opportunists are around, so however that sort of relates to you, business-wise, uh, romantically... I feel like you've made healthy choices and you're sort of liking this vibe. Some of you could just be liking being single. Some of you, uh, if you are dating, you're actually enjoying dating. But a lot of you, you're going to wait to get to know somebody in the biblical sense. I don't think you're going to move anything along way too fast. Uh, you're just going to take your time with things. And that makes all the difference. That really makes all the difference. This is kind of like marketing energy, too. Uh, you know, when uh, uh, you want to create a buzz around something or a stir around something, it's unavailable. Then people think they're actually getting something. Mm. Check your water placements. If you got a lot of water in your chart... Uh, Capricorn, that's that sort of cold lands vibe. You might be coming across as cold, but for Capricorn, I feel like a lot of you, that's just in how you look in at relationships and partnerships. So if you were used, right, and sort of uh, taken advantage of, I don't think you're going to be all nicey and cheerful with those that sort of... Uh, uh, we're using you. You know what I mean? So you're probably coming off as cold. Some of you are coming off as cold because you're not dating. You're not out there sort of uh, doing that vibe. So you've ended uh, certain relationships or partnerships. Some of you, you're probably off your dating apps. Uh, whatever you used to do, you did a complete 180 and now you're focused on you. A lot of you love in this single life. Some of you, if you are dating, going out on dates, they are basically dates. It's not like a, uh, it's not going any further than the restaurant, right? It, it's that kind of vibe with you. You're being very mindful of uh, <laughs> who sort of gets your energy. Damn, I love this for you, Cappies. 
You'll know this is you if you've made the changes. You've made healthy choices and you've noticed the difference. Work, love, life energy with you, Capricorn. I think some of you are going to learn to compartmentalize. Because you're leaving that sort of energy behind. I feel like there is a sort of... Uh, a bunch of sort of conflict, a bunch of things not really working because your energy's not there. This is like you take a vacation and you come back and everything's a fucking mess. It's kind of like that energy, Capricorn. You don't need that shit in your life, do you? Definitely mindful of your romantic relationships or partnerships. But damn... Damn, Cappies. You ever think that being single would cause this much sort of uh, interest in you? There's like commotion energy, but it, it's not your vibe. It's not your vibe. Damn. Good luck, God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Take what's yours. Leave what the fuck is in Capricorn. Ring the bell if you were ever so inspired to Capricorn. Mm. Keep in this energy because uh, I think you like it. It's different though. So take your time with something. Model artist curator. So you're focusing more on you. You're doing more things for yourself. You're creating more things for yourself. I feel like you're just sort of streamlining the, the shit that you don't need. Some of you, you don't need that sort of uh, ass-kisser energy around. You know you can accomplish this. So, you know. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Good luck. God bless, Cappies.